Welcome to Deerfield Select Board, August 5th uh, meeting, uh, 2019 at 5 p.m. in the Deerfield Town Hall, 8 Conway Street, South Deerfield. Um, this meeting is open to the public, um, except for such portions, um, maybe an executive session. Um, I don't believe we will have an executive session meeting tonight. Um, so um, I call the meeting to order. And we only had, really, an executive session on the agenda, but we were kind of uh, reconvening to discuss um, interviews that we had the other night, kind of the plan going forward. Um, it's, um, I'll just say it has been a short amount of time <laughs> to actually get any um, further data, so I, I'm not ready yet to make a decision moving forward. So I, um, or at least uh, I, my part of the board is not ready to move forward. Um, so I think, um, we had a couple of things you wanted to discuss on the agenda for some other items um, or other things you wanted to bring up, but um, I plan to do um, a little more background research um, on both candidates and we'll, um, we'll be back in touch. I, I have a kind of a bit of a plan moving forward to kind of get some clarity there. Um, and um, we'll have another meeting shortly, so. Um, there was a couple of things I wanted to just bring up. Um, the a West Nile uh, virus mosquito was trapped up in um, Old Deerfield, and so far none um, have been trapped down here in South Deerfield, but um, once it's circulating, uh, especially if it's been circulating for a couple weeks, it's pretty pervasive everywhere. So mm -hmm. um, please, please take the opportunity to limit your activities if you can from um, dusk to dawn when the uh, mosquitoes are most active. Make sure you um, use a repellent. Your your screens are in good shape, and and really just basic stuff like you know long sleeves, um, you know go a long way to keep everyone safe. It's the, the thing is most people are, have no real symptoms if even if they're bitten and and contract um, West Nile disease. But if you're a, a older person or really young or have a compromised immune system, um, you will be the percentage that could get sick and, and it could be life-threatening. So it's, it's actually very serious for a very small percentage of people. So it's really worth paying attention to. And we will continue to monitor throughout the summer. The peak is usually in August. And um, like I said, so far, uh, the triple E, which is your um, Eastern encephalitis um, equine um, disease is, is probably really much seemingly contained to the eastern part of the state so far. Nothing has shown up out here. So um, that's the thing that really worry about and, and we're monitoring for that as well. There's about 51 um, species of mosquitoes in Massachusetts and it's really three or four that we're concerned about and that's what we trap and that's what we test. Um, the other thing that um, I just wanted to bring up is that the public comment period for um, uh, the revised marijuana regulations is um, closing August 15th. And um, what I was hoping to do is have a draft letter written up um, because this has to do with social consumption mm -hmm. establishments. And I feel like a buttering community should have um, some um, say and have some ability to um, have input into uh, what's happening in other communities that have been given a license for social consumption establishments. And the pilot is for Amherst in Springfield and I think North Adams or Pittsfield area. They're going to have them? Yes, they are in the pilot. Um, so, it, I mean, I feel like we should be able to write a letter and say that we're concerned and we would like a say. Um, I mean, we're, we're a crossroads community. In other words, mm -hmm. we have 116, we have 91. Route 2, you have 91, you have 5 and 10. So um, a lot of highways and you know river road, mm -hmm. upper road, there's a lot of roads that go through our community that connect with other communities. So um, I feel like it's really important that we um, write a letter and say that as um, regional uh, community we have we will be impacted by these social consumption um, establishments and we should have some say and I think when we had um, approved our you know our marijuana stuff we had decided that we were not going to zone for that's a, correct for a social consumption at that but time, I, I right? um, but I feel like the um, the state is 
I don't want to say reneging because it's, but they are changing their regulations and they're willing to do these pilots. And mm -hmm. that means pretty soon we might not have the choice to opt out of social consumption right. establishments. So I feel like we should write a letter of concern mm -hmm. because, you know, driving under the influence, whether it's alcohol or drugs, is very serious. And, and you know, this is just one more thing to make our roads not that safe. So. Okay. Uh, so you wanted a letter drafted? Yes, for us to um, approve on the 14th, our meeting okay. on the 14th. To, to review Yeah, and, and then it can be just sent in, you know, uh, emailed in uh, for the 15th deadline. So um, do you need a motion for that, or do you, uh, do you want to make well, a motion? Well, yes, that? I will okay. make the motion that we to have a comment letter. Okay. And if you all agree. I mean, I, I, I'm on board with that, I think. I'll second that. Yeah. I agree that, you know, let's just have some input. It's... Um, you know, unfortunately, the, most of the PDs have limited resources to be able to test for impairment of that type. Right. It, uh, That's the trickiest part of that whole thing. Is that, yeah. um, you know, fine if you're at home doing it, but you're, you're on the road. It's, um, it's, you know, we don't allow drinking and driving. We shouldn't allow right. that. And I it's mean, hard it's to test for that. Thing, you have yeah. a breathalyzer for alcohol. You don't have a breathalyzer. I mean, for that. that was my whole my whole problem with social consumption establishments is mm -hmm. that there isn't a. a, a you know, a way to test for marijuana use mm -hmm. that will hold up in court. And, right. and, you know, so you're tying up additional officers to um, witness someone being impaired. And, mm -hmm. and, then, and then you have, to, you have to be lucky enough to stop that person and yeah. whatever. So, I, you know, to me okay. it's a concern. So uh, I'm, I'm in favor of that. All, uh, any other further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Um, any any public comment? Anybody want to say anything? I wish I had more to give you tonight. I know people took time to come here today, <laughs> but um, what's that? Oh, Tilton's has music tonight. Well, there will anybody okay. welcome to go watch the movie and watch the music I, tonight. That's at six o'clock, right? Great. I, I I guess I I do have actually one more thing to say. Um, okay. Of course the shootings at um, oh, El Paso thank you. and thank you for that. Um, you know Dayton are horrible um, you don't want to give a lot of oxygen to it mm -hmm. and um, so I guess our support would be for of the library you know buying more books so that people can discuss it at home and with their kids and um, you know maybe the dig group at school is diversity yep. and in their schools group that is a wonderful um, you know, group that is addressing some of these concerns. And um, I mean, I don't really know what to say, except that we feel really sad about it. And yeah, there was, um, there was some, somebody was, um, it, it, it has been ripping the nation apart. This, you know, you think you move along in social and um, racial tensions that kind of quell a bit and then they, they rear their ugly head again and it's just um, it's a shame and then to have so many people lose their lives because of the way the um, it's awful yeah the way the way that the speech is going and people feel freer to do stuff and say things um, and I just think of you know these, these young kids that are getting caught in the middle of this um, or a anybody any age getting caught in this but it really hurts when it's a six-year-old um, and uh, they have no idea what, what, what's happening and why, but um, it, this week has been horrendous from one end to the other, um, all across the nation. And there are people kind of stepping up to um, have dialogue. And yeah. I know that the library, like you said, is doing that. They have books available for people and always can ask questions um, and learn from each other. And I think there's people gathering, I think, on the common in, in a day or so, maybe in a week or so. Um, maybe August 12th, I think, and they're um, just kind of being open to ask questions and listen and talk and listen to each other. And you're right that the, the um, Deerfield Inclusionary Group, DIG, um, has done a lot of things over at the elementary school over the years, the last couple of years. Yeah. They've held uh, potlucks and movies um, on diversity and how to accept, you know, people um, of other persuasions, races, whatever. Um, I think it, they're doing really great work, and they should be commended for that. And um, whatever we can do to support that, I'm very I agree. On board to help that for sure. 
So thanks for reminding oh. and mentioning something. Yeah. Yeah. And we are going to have a Board of Health meeting at some point and um, eliminate. Uh, it will be in the newspaper. The jewel was $2,500 worth of jewels were stolen from Cumberland Farms over the uh, weekend, I guess. And you know, That's an e-cigarette. It's not jewelry. Yeah, <laughs> Just so everybody is yeah. aware. It's so jewels um, we, are, we are going to um, have a Board of Health meeting to um, eliminate vaping products in our town. It's but we've sort of been on hold because we, you know, we're hoping to just um, eliminate them totally. But we might um, go ahead and just eliminate all flavors except for mint and menthol just so we don't get bogged down in a lawsuit with, um, you know, uh, the vapor makers. So um, we're deciding on what we're going to do on that. It's a major problem with the kids nowadays. It's, it's, it's a huge, huge increase. 400% um, increase in our in at usage the yep. at the schools and it's it's just it's so bad for our kids i mean uh, a pod is worth a whole pack of cigarettes that we'll nicotine that level like that. We'll and, it, and it's it. just you know you can buy buy pods like and they and kids just don't understand mm -hmm. and it's horrible so we are going to be doing something very soon so um yeah. no i don't have anything to add on that it's just you know one way to do it is tax it like you do cigarettes. Mm. You know that'll slow it down a little bit. It's not going to solve the problem, mm. but at least they can use the revenue to for education to combat some of these issues. Yeah. Um, you know, that's why a pack of cigarettes in Massachusetts costs around ten dollars, and in Georgia they cost four. <laughs> oh, is that right? Yeah. So. I realize that. Um. Okay, so um, on the main topic of the meeting tonight, we're just in a holding pattern on the town administrator search, uh, still moving through that process. It's going to take a little bit longer than we'd hope, um, but we'll um, we'll make sure your meetings are posted so you're all aware what's going on. I th I think we were talking about doing some kind of project, right? I'm thinking about yeah. I've been thinking about trying to. Um, get a little bit more data. So I think um, working on um, having candidates present a project to the town might help help in the decision making. So, um, but I'll make sure that's written out and everybody's aware of it and we get, get that on schedule. Okay. Do you have anything to add? Do you, you want to hit on, Diana? Um, no, just a reminder. I, I had inadvertently at your meeting said town council was going to be here on Wednesday. I was thinking the 8th was Wednesday, but it's actually Thursday. So I sent you an email earlier today, and I Thank sent you. I let the department heads know too, but I just wanted to remind you in case okay, you didn't great. see it. So she'll be here Thursday morning. From and 9 till From 11. 9 till 1130. Okay. Yeah, so she'll be here for that. And then Good. that's the same morning we're doing. We'll have the uh, Kevin will be here because we're doing the mandatory pre-proposal uh, walkthrough for the RFQ for town buildings. Oh, okay. So that's this week too, just to let you know. So that'll be happening. Yeah. Yep. Great. Anything else? No. Nope. Well, thank you for coming tonight. And uh, motion to adjourn. I make that motion. A second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you.